Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and today in this video I'm going to teach you how to add more expressive uh, emotions by using accessories with your blend shapes like this or maybe even uh, create a little a little magic like this so let's get started for this uh, so what I'm gonna do is add a, add a few effects to this I'm gonna add a freehand group uh, what I'm gonna do is I want to add like a red tick mark we're just, gonna, we're just gonna grab a random one for now. I have, we gotta create new materials for it. So I want something here and something here. Uh, duplicate this one. We're gonna get the yellow and this one. And this one we're gonna make like I don't know. We'll do a red just so we can tell the difference between which ones are working on. So let's go over to texture and we're going to edit how this will look. And the yellow one, I kind of want it to look a little like tears in the eyes. I'm going to turn all this white. So essentially what I'm trying to make this look like is, is tears. And it might not look perfect for now, but it, it'll do with uh, what I plan on doing, you know, it'll, it'll look fine. Um, another one I want to do is that tick mark, which I drew previous, so I'm just going to import that in. And I'm just going to edit where this is, and bring it down a little bit so we can see it. And we'll just position it. Right about there. So that way you can have sad, you can have angry. You gotta keep them both on for right now. Let's see. And one last thing I wanna do is like that. Alright. And at this point, we're gonna export it. Now what you're going to want to do is open Unity. I already have a project open, but you're going to need to have the Uni VRM installed so you can import. So you're going to go Uni VRM, import, and then find where your file is. And we were called Magic Argama. You can save. Uh, and for people who are wondering, I'm using Unity 2019.2.4 F1. Also, I'm using the uh, VRM, the Uni VRM 0.53.0. All right, <clears throat> so here I am. Here's with all of my my shebang, all uh -huh. all the stuff. So one of the things I am going to do is I'm going to go over to textures. Um. And I'm gonna find this tear texture because I wanted to edit that. Uh, show in Explorer. I'm gonna open up our. We're opening up our uh, art program. And Explorer opened up with something like this, and we want that one. And what I wanna do is like lower the opacity and then make another layer. I have like a dark white shine on it like that. 
and then we'll flatten it and then we'll save right over the old one so that way this has changed all right <clears throat> now we're gonna go over to the materials and for the tier ones I'm gonna do transparent uh, is that the right one why did it change the eyelash I'm transparent you can kind of see how it's like transparent and yeah it is floating out there and that's that's fine that's fine I don't actually care um and now one of the things we're going to do is we're going to grab this second one down it says color and then there's textures and you have lit color alpha and you're gonna click on the uh box next to it ours is currently white it's gonna look like this and you're gonna take this bottom one because you have rg B and then A for the alpha, and you're gonna take that and just bring all the way down to zero so it disappears off of here. Uh, yeah, just like that. And you're gonna do the same with this one. You're gonna grab the tick mark that's up here, and you're gonna click this, and you're gonna take it all the way down to zero. Perfect. Uh, we're also gonna do that with the glitter. Grab this and, oops, that was the wrong one. And take it all the way down to zero. Uh, one other thing I want to do, if possible, is try it with the hair three. I think it will work with the hair three, maybe not. Yeah. The hair three, I'm going to take it all the way down to zero, and it's going to make my hat disappear because I made the hat on a different layer, uh, hair material. Uh, you'll need a different material, and make sure you didn't use it somewhere else, like on the back of the hair where it's black. All right, and now we don't need this open. We're gonna go over here to our uh, magic argama blend shapes, and we're gonna click on the very first one or the one that shows you all of the different blend shapes. And you can see over here is what we're working with, right down here. So ah, e, u, a. But we're also gonna go like here's the angry. I'm gonna make the angry maybe not. There we go, like that. And then up here, it says material list. We're gonna click that. And you're gonna see a serialized property list is empty with the plus button. And on this drop down, you're gonna look for that um, tick one. Which actually, if we want to make it a little easier on ourselves. So this is the magic one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, let's see, rename this to magic. This one is which one is this one? All right, that's the tears. So right click, rename tears, and this is uh, rename angry. And then, uh, which one is this? this one's hat? Rename hat. Okay, that doesn't matter. All right, so we're gonna go back over here to the blend shapes. Uh, and we are in angry. We're in the material list. I'm gonna click on this, and here's our angry. And then the one below it, we're gonna click. And we're gonna do color. And then you click on this black box. And you're gonna see this alpha is all the way down to zero. We're gonna bring that all the way up. And you can see it, but it's a little hard. So let's bring that back up to white. And there we go. And now you can see that that tick mark, whenever angry is triggered, that tick mark is gonna appear with it. There's also other things you can do with this. Like. Oh, you can just do color and then change it to red to make it like angry. If you really want to. And then you can even do it again for the, let's see, iris itself. Like a, my eyes are pretty dark, so it's a little hard to see, but you can kind of see that it's turned a little red. So you make it super angry. But if you actually don't want one of these, you just highlight it and you just hit the minus button. Just highlight it and hit the minus button. And you get rid of stuff that way. Um, 
And then we're going to do one for the sorrel. We're going to add the tears. And the and the alpha. And bring it up. And bring it right up there. So it looks like they've got big floating tears right there. Um, I'm also going to add two new blend shapes. And one of them is going to be called Hat. Click on the hat, and we're not going to do anything as far as the shape itself, but the material list will change. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to add the hat and change color to the alpha up, and we can keep it at black because the hat's already black, so it doesn't actually matter. And now that'll make the hat appear, and a little more for magic. I'm going to take magic and we'll go to materialist and plus take magic color make it white and bring up the alpha and we'll have the magic. Uh, one other thing I want to do with the magic is we're going to go over to the uh, materials. Oh, this is a little something extra extra, but you know, you going to be a little extra after sometimes, you know? All right, so I turned the alpha back up just so we can see what we're looking at. Um, and in this inspector tab, we're going to scroll down to where it says uh, UV coordinates. And we have this thing here, and it's going to make it move. Like that. Eh, granted, I don't want it to move that much. Maybe a little more than that. Like, like there. So it just looks like magic's floating around. Um, and you can also like make it go in weird directions and spaz the buck out. Like you can do whatever you want. And I've done this for other effects as well. And it's pretty neat. I dig it. Alright, let's go back up to the uh, visual we're gonna um I mean the color texture and let's bring that back down to alpha because we don't need that right now. Uh, and at this point, we're pretty much done with this, so let's export this and try it out. All right, now at this point, <clears throat> we're going to select our camera, but we're also going to check our expression keys. All right, and you can see that we have the hat and the magic, and they need to be attached to some sort of keys. So I'm just going to put a couple of keys on there. Uh, this is something you can do with Luppet and other programs that you can add the extra expressions. All right, and then we're going to start with the model. Also, don't mind the other models in there. I make them for commissions, and, you know, sometimes it's what you got to do. All right. So here's our model. Here's me. Hi. <laughs> um, let's do uh, the angry. Yep, there it is. Look at that little, little tick mark. Mm, so pissed. Uh, we could do sad. Oh. Um, ooh, actually, one thing I forgot to do is while we were in this selection, because Luppet has a thing where you can do this, um, when you're at this expression keys, it has a button part. You want to change that to a T, so you're toggling and not just pressing a button for the hat and the magic. So that way they stand a little longer. All right. Let's, let's go back into this. I'm sorry. That was not bad. All right. So, like, the anger and stuff is just triggered by one button, but... With the hat, let's pull down something to the hat. Once we hit it, it stays on. And if we hit it again, it'll go away. And um, we can do the magic as well. The magic floating around it. Because we're a magical witch. <laughs> we're a very pissed off magical witch. A little Saiyan. <laughs> Um, either way, that's uh, how I created the little magic in there, and it's a way that you can add to your expressions. Um, I recommend you trying it out. Uh, you do need the Unity for it, and it does take a little bit of patience at first, but there's some interesting things you could do. Like, if you have an outfit that's drawn on your body completely, and then you want another outfit on top, say like you have a t-shirt drawn on your body, 
but then you also have a jacket. You could turn the jacket on and off as well. Like this isn't limited to just the hair, but the hair does make it easier. And remember, you do have to keep the hair on when exporting from Vroid or else it won't register as a material and then things can get a little complicated. But besides that, I hope this video has been informative and has helped you out. And I hope to see you guys later. Alright, yeah, bye! <laughs>